record right now. We're not recording? No. You're lying. We're actually not recording. We're actually not recording. Fuck! I am a little crushed. Yeah. Just a little crushed. No, that's rough. That's really rough. That's painful. That's painful. That was really good too. Okay, maybe we could salvage the video. Should I stop? Hey guys, hey. Uh, just at the top of this show, we want to inform you of some really tragic news. Um, mm -hmm. About halfway through us recording this episode, we realized that the audio was not recording. Um, it was my fault. I don't know if anyone's to blame. It was a very um, uh, <laughs> chaotic start to record. the show, and we were changing uh, things last minute, which is also to no one's blame. Um yeah. But it was Tolan's fault and he didn't press record. And we're so sure. sorry that you now have to listen to this in not the highest quality that we usually do. It's just the you. first half. It's only the first half of the show is uh sounds horrible. Right. And the second half sounds the way that you usually know and love. So having said that, please, you know, forgive just stick us. Stick with us. Yeah, just and um yeah. definitely give Tolan some hate for not recording it. I don't believe I don't believe in this. Um or don't, but like, you know, if you want to DM me on the side and be like, oh my God, I can't believe Tolan did that. I'm going to cut all this out, everything <laughs> she said. Everything she said, I'm cutting it I'm out. I'm going to be like every other word, like, Tolan is great. We, all right, let's let start the show. You We're starting the show. Here we go. School's in session. Silly goose, silly goose. I'm a silly goose. Silly goose, you silly goose. Well, what you wait for, you silly goose? You think when East is hanging out yeah. and they're having a goofy time, yeah. they're having a silly human time? Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the academy. Did we already start? This is going to be fun. Silly. Goose Academy. <laughs> Ray and Shy, welcome to the Shiba Goose Academy. Am I right, Shiba? Uh, it is episode 26, the year of our Lord and Savior, Amanda Ebert. Um, Wait, what? I'm 26. In the other part. I'm your Lord and Savior. Who says this? Sheba, obviously. Can't get enough of me. Oh, <laughs> Lord and Savior. Who do you think you are? <laughs> You've been watching a little too much uh, Little Nas. Yes, I've been feeling very close to scripture these last few days. <laughs> yeah. Have I you seen? Have you seen what? The controversy? But the Christians... I, hear, I know it's something about shoes. It's like um, these red shoes. Well, the same shoes, but also just the video. The, the good Christians of the world just can't stand to Wait, no, but explain shot. better what, what what's going on. What, oh, the Lil Nas X music video um, is just taking uh, scenes from... I was going to say history, but... <laughs> Somebody Academy is right. not history and to, to, hell is not most, history. To most um, people, that's their right. History. But just like uh, you know, classic. Some people think like, the world is like right. What six thousand years? Yes, Jews so, think correct. That the world Call is like what, six, not, six grand. Yeah, six, six grand. grand. <laughs> <laughs> six on this earth. Um, but basically, uh, yeah, it's just a gay man like fucking the devil. Wait, they so obviously were not so happy about that. But I saw a really funny tweet where it's like, oh, like, oh, God, I'm going to butcher it. But it was basically saying, like, Christians want gays to go to hell so badly, and then when you, they're finally there, they can't even let us be happy or something. There is no hell. I know, but in it's the video. Cool. No, I get it. I get they're it. in he's hell, like, and he's fucking the devil. Yeah, he's, like, giving, giving the devil a lot. That scene is so hot to me where he, like, is fucking the devil, kills him, takes his crown. Oof. You like murder. Murder yeah, is hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it must be because so many, and I'm generalizing here, you know, you know <laughs> but like, ne the Netflix murder stuff. Yeah. I come home and Mandy is like asleep to watching like... Murder. Well, that murder. doesn't mean that it's like a sexual fantasy. It could just, it's like very entertaining. We love the drama. I know, but there's a there's a thing about serial killers that like you see like Oh those I mean stories. in college I was obsessed with I know, but like, some, like in a gross way. Some of them are like attract you know they get a lot of like groupies. It's like that really yeah. famous serial oh, yeah. killers. Because a lot of the times yeah. they're hot. You know how you know how I know that? 
It's because when I come home, man, there's a luxury murder mystery. <laughs> and you're like, oh shoot, these guys are hot, and I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Wait, the best like, thing, ah. I come in and I'm like, have you seen the little Mouth X music video? It's so hot. I show it to him and he's like, that did nothing for me. And I was like, are you kidding me? That was so hot. He was like, I'm not attracted to men. I was like, oh, right, 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 right. Naked men's bodies is not going to do it for yeah, you. Yeah, but he's also was a like, So just like the storyline, the like costumes, it's all just very like hot. But also like boring that you're not into it. Well, let's not sexuality shame. He could be straight. <laughs> it's, it's, Mandy it, it's, is giving Tolkien the eyes and said, wishes he was bi. <laughs> there are more. There are more layers um, to this. He's also dressed up in like creature costumes. Like I don't want right. to fuck. Uh, what was one that he was dressed as? Like a fish? Was he a fish? No, he was like. An, uh, well, because in the beginning he's like. Uh, Adam slash Eve and the snake and then he does the like Roman Empire version of it which I love that's like my favorite costume he's in like the pink wig and the diaper and then yeah there is some weird like fish angel holographic one and then my so absolute he, favorite like, is when he slides his ass down to hell in those knee highs and uh, braids yeah. Right on the devil. Quality song, but uh, there's also oh, the, but there's the controversy that I was that oh, I yeah, saw today the was the one about the sneakers. Yeah. Where they're all like the demon shoes. First of all, cool name. I was like, who doesn't want to have shoes that are like called demon shoes? Yeah. That's pretty cool. These are when I just got my demons. Yeah. These are my de- I got my demons on. <laughs> I think just Christians are so afraid of the world they made up. Like just don't be afraid of the devil. He's not real. You don't who, have to fear him. I want to know who came up with that shit. I mean, I think we know. We can like, trace who, it back pretty who, well. Who wrote it? Who wrote the Bible? I don't know, the weird people that followed him around. They really can you take it. a look who wrote the Bible? Who did this? <laughs> Masterful art uh, work, by the way. Like, he really knew. Like, it's the best selling book ever. Yeah. What kills me? Isn't there, like, a Bible? More than Harry Potter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I believe that. No, I believe that. That's not. Bible's right. got more than Harry Potter. And Harry Potter has <laughs> seven books. Um, Bible's only two. But isn't it weird? This is true, right? That every hotel in America has a Bible in the room. Isn't that some culty shit? Are you allowed to request a different one? I don't know. Maybe not in certain states. It's like, Maybe not in certain not. states, but I'm pretty sure it's a thing. Where, like every hotel in America in the nightstand table. The they still do that? But I don't know if they still do that. I just remember have hearing that and being like, have I ever read the Bible? Yeah. I'm sure parts of it as like a child in church or temple, you get you come across a passage. But no, I've never read the Bible like front to I'm not saying that I ever read No, I know, I know. I'm just saying like most people have read the Bible. I feel like yeah, I, think about I don't think they read the whole thing. I, okay, you think they read the Bible? I think they read certain passages that resonate with them and then twist it you to know, make sense you know, of you the You know, it's a spooky guy that you come across, like you know, like in the movies when they come across the guy, like this really like eerie looking fellow, like uh-huh. kind of tall, and you're just like, you know, he's nefarious, and he yeah. just like the first thing he says to you is like Something a Bible like passage, yeah, yeah. And Matthew like, quote, eleven like, quote, sixty three, yeah. yeah. Mandy, yeah. you're raising your hand. Yes, yes. So apparently Moses wrote the first five books. Well, sure. And then there are <laughs> 30 other author, authors of the oh, okay. following so what books those? in the Bible. So who's, who's cross-referencing? Person? Like, who's Well, it's per- probably also been translated from so many different languages. The, well, it all comes from, like one place really and it just revives like the catholic Correct. bible the christian bible is just the old testament but with some with a little razzle dazzle some you know white I mean? sprinkles it's like you know what would be better than this story if like let's say god had a son man right and like we he, you know he dies for, for like, our sins, sins man. and you know what our sins are <laughs> and then he comes back fucking before like, we're married like, I like, the, I, I like the extra, like, sci-fi. That he comes extra, back? Like, he comes back. Yeah, it is fun. But, He's coming back soon. But why doesn't he stay? I mean... Christ, he came back for, like, a day. Christ! I don't know. Yasha. Y- Yasha. That's Yeshua. what he's called in. Yeah. Like, I have no idea why he doesn't stay. 
I, have, I don't know explain? anything. I don't know. <laughs> You're talking to a fellow Jew here. <laughs> All right, they don't have that bit in our in our. No, life. it just he ends, never comes. It he's just, yeah. just never part of it. It just ends like where yeah. Israel. Imagine if we did have that part, and we like were part of uh, the whole Jesus portion of it. I feel like you lose a lot of people. Wait, what? Like if Jews <laughs> prescribed to the whole Jesus part of it. Like no, if we stayed around for no, book that's the part two. we know we think is nonsense. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I feel like Christianity must, must have started with Jews. Right. Well, it did. Christ was a Jew, but like so, then a bunch of them converted. That's what I'm expecting. Right. What I'm suspecting. Right. But also, then like the Romans just kind of like they're like, yo, that sounds some. That sounds more. Yeah, there's so many different. Uh, they're like, we got all these fucking Apollos and the Jupiters, and like, fuck, man. Oh, man, I, okay, speaking of Bibles and crazy things and religion, mm-hmm. uh, obviously this last weekend was the start of Passover, and at our Seder, we do like an abridged like, 30 minute Seder book, so it's not as torturous, which is great. And in it, though, you're like reading all the like four questions, and you go through whatever. And it's so funny, I was like, wow, we're so inclusive of everyone's like learning levels, because it goes through like the four uh, children too, and it's like, for the person who doesn't want to learn and can't understand the them, like, break it down to them in simple words and images, maybe play them a song, you know, like the next one's like, it just like goes through all levels, and I'm like, wow, yeah, really well, so, like... So the first one's what? The, son? the, the wisest one, <laughs> the wicked one, the simple one, which is such a rose to the rest to read that one. It's like, okay, this <laughs> is like can't understand the basic parting of the seas. And then what, the last one just like... I think the last one is just the youngest. Mm. Mm. I see. This, but we read it and I was just like, this is honestly inclusive of all learning abilities. So go us for like being that woke in biblical times, you know? But like, what if we got a dyslexic true. We gotta break it down for them somehow so they understand it's like you gotta be able to, this horrible you, it's, thing. They're basically saying like you gotta be able to teach this to someone who isn't just like in that you know. Yeah. They're basically they're saying it's just the whole thing is like the whole thing about Passover is just like, you know it's like chill out. Like you're supposed to chill on Passover. You're supposed to kind of lean back in your chair. There's that whole thing about like... Lean like to the left. Back. There's a lean to the left part. There's a lead to the left. <laughs> to the, to the right. left. Honestly, like, yeah, I don't know if this is a common... <laughs> no, take well, it away. It wasn't a duet, man. <laughs> I was... <laughs> Sorry, no, I get no, I get. With Beyonce, I do not have <laughs> Um, I was going to say, I don't know if this is like a universal thought, but I think Passover is my favorite Jewish holiday. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Now I'm blanking on all what the other ones are. Um, you know what? Which one I, I don't like? Like yeah, Hanukkah is so overrated. Yom Kippur is obviously the worst one. Obviously. 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 Why? Because it's because it's the most important one. And it's the sad. You have to atone for your sins. You have to fast. You have to do all the. It's like a shame. Holiday. Yeah, you're not. You're not even allowed to say Happy Yom Kippur because it's not a happy day. Yeah. It's literally the worst day of the year. What about the tears that you dip your better herbs in? That's Passover. Passover. That's to remember. Yeah, yeah. and oh, fruit. Passover, all the stories of all the holidays are sad, Very sad. and not good, but Passover is so fun. We've got a great soundtrack throughout the Seder. <laughs> like, yeah, there's a, there's I think though, I, I, but I think it's key, like if you're going to a true Seder, I don't know if Passover would be my favorite, but like we always do like the 30 minutes Seder or like a quick thing, we get through it, we talk about it, love it, and get to the food and it's a fun night. So Yeah, you know what mine you know what mine is? Someone <laughs> someone my my dad and my and my uh and my uncle just kind of tell it, just kind of talk it. Yeah, I love that. About it, you know. That was well, well, we just that wanted, was you. you know, like we just wanna eat. Yeah. Know? But they they love it, you know. It's so, also <laughs> it's the Bible telling you to get drunk. You have to down a cup of wine after like every paragraph. Four cups of wine, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's just what the Bible's telling you. You're also drinking on top of that. <laughs> so that's true. Your girl. How do you know? Drunk. You never read the Bible. I've read this passage. Oh, almost every right. passage. So you're doing all. Yeah, I've read parts of the Bible, as we all have. I obviously am familiar with the Torah and the Bar Mitzvah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Passover. Passover. Like I was trying to say, is like. It's a fun one. It, it's um. It's um, dang it! I lost it. It'll come back to me. Okay. I always get them back. Yeah, I, I them was them gonna back. say it's also fun because as a kid, got it. <laughs> right, go take it away. Got it. My point is like it's a holiday about like 
you love about rela- relaxation, you know, and enjoying your freedom, but it's also like, don't forget, you know. Like, we were slaves for yeah. remember, quite some time. remember, remember who you are. Um, but also as a child, it was so fun because of the whole Afi Komen aspect of it. Yeah, dude, this year... Money nobody... was on the line. If you found that piece, you were like, Grandpa, pay up, buddy. I know where you hide this shit. Dude, Explain fun. that for the non-Jews. I don't know if we have listeners who are non-Jews. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you you really cornered yourself you in a market. You um, why? I don't think we have. I'm kidding. I'm just saying because we're both That's very chewy. I'm just making a statement that I think I mean, is obvious. Explain it for the white Jews. Do you want to explain the Omicron? It's this little game, this little mind game you play with. Mind game. You know, you take all the little kids, right? You gather them around and you say, listen, you see this monster? I'm putting it in a paper towel and I'm going to hide it somewhere in the house. Now listen carefully, kids, because this is, this is the important part. And this is when kids stop listening, notorious. No, this is when they lock in, okay? <laughs> because he's, he says, whoever, whoever finds it, like, gets, uh, gets a prize and gets money. Yeah, forget okay? prize, you're getting cash. Getting Cold, cash. hard cash. So then, uh, so they force you to turn on all your cousins and your siblings. Um, <laughs> you have, okay, and, I don't know if you did this, we all had to hide in, like, the bedroom while my grandpa hid it so that no one could, like, no, it's it. No, it out. Rules, and then it's like, okay, go. The rules are very strict. This is, yeah. you don't disrespect the integrity of the, of the game. No. Here. And okay. it's such, you really, you feel like a winner. And you find it? Yeah, of course. Of course. And the person who finds it is like, it's like, I'm smarter than and you. And I'm richer <laughs> than you. I'm now richer than my nah, cousins. but they always give everyone <laughs> I know. A everyone little, gets a like bit, a dollar. You know? And then the person yeah. who finds it gets like, let's talk about how much money you buy your kid told as a kid, for the like for Afi Komen or for, for this for particular game, um, I don't even remember. So how much did the winner get? Twenty bucks. And Amanda, I feel like it was around the same. I really can't remember. I feel like it was twenty. It's like a twenty sounds about right. They're not like going to give a child. Basically, it's like you're all looking for the I same. Twenty party. had to be the most. Maybe some years it was just like five dollars. As we got like older. Actually, no, once you get so older, it, it once you get older, box. the games, you don't play anymore. Right. It's only for children. I know, but I'm the oldest, or like the second oldest of the cousins, okay. so I well, did it for a long here's, time. Here's, because... here's something to think about. Did you find that? Did you do the Apple this year? No, I haven't done it in years. Exactly. <laughs> I know. Exactly. No, I know, I'm saying. <laughs> um, but I My point can't is, remember. like, this this year, there's all, the, every, all like, my cousins are already, like, old enough. Oh, no, I haven't so done it in years. No, no, no. So my uncle, that yeah, was actually pretty funny. It made me laugh. He was like, "I'm going to put the Afikomen here so nobody can see it." <laughs> okay. I don't get it. Like, uh, I guess you have to be. You have to be like, <laughs> Who's that? that up. I'm going to, uh, <laughs> no, no, you have to keep that in. You have to keep huh? that in. Who said that? My uncle. He like in, in yeah. front of everybody. He's like. Joking, like, I'm gonna go put this on this desk where no okay, one can see funny. it. Okay, uh, that's funny. No, that's funny now. Maybe I just bosh it. I think you just bosh it. But please keep Start from the top. Start from the top. I just like the no, pause. No, no. I like the little pause. Yeah. Let's start the show over. <laughs> <laughs> no, just start the tape. 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 Um, um, anyway, so yeah, nobody nobody was there. But on, in other news. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was there. I was doing, I was thinking out loud. I was like, Daddy wasn't there. Um, In other news, um, has this ever happened to you? (laughs) (laughs) Well, I I had this like little moment where um, you ever, like, you're walking with Nick, like, near a stranger, right? Mm -hmm. And you're both headed towards, like, a double door mm. scenario. You know I, I mean? know exactly what you're going to say, but I'm going to let you finish. And it's like, you, okay, so like, I held the door for this lady, right? Mm-hmm. And she, so she walked in. So now there's, now there's, there's, there's some time before we get to the next door. It's like, who's, Oh, you meant double doors man? as in like vestibule situation, not oh, like double doors open. Can you say that again? Vestibule. Damn. Okay, respect. I t- if you only know that word. To explain that there are two doors. It's also two doors. Per, per door. door. Okay. I just also want to shout out, I only know the word less to because I live in <laughs> I don't think I would ever know what that is if I didn't live in a city with like yeah, of course. buildings with vestibules. Of course, you live in society. Exactly. Right. Um, 
Anyway, okay, so you're between doors, you hold it. So I held the door, right? Mm -hmm. And so I didn't know, like, do I have to now run, go to the other door and do it? Or is it like she returns the favor and she opens the door before? Right, because now you've done this flip flop of who's in front. Yeah, I only say that. I don't think you run in front and do that. That feels crazy. That feels like (laughs) you're like her slave. Well, no, it's more like I need to repay the, like, he was, you know, he oh, opened no, I the think door she for can me. Do it. I think she can do it, yeah. He opened the door for me. Now, uh, and, and returned. Because now she's the one the walking door. through the door exactly. first. Exactly, yeah. she is first. Yeah. But uh, what about chivalry? You've already done your chivalry deed. I know. If you now like, run ahead, that's so creepy and weird. I'd like, be like, okay, I can open a fucking door. But I would feel like a phony because I won't commit. You did, though. I'm, I'm like, how no. I think if it was, okay, maybe it comes down to the length, like the distance between each door, but if I would, it, I think it's weird if you then try to run and get the next one. I would say the only case where it's not weird is if it's like an old woman who's like old and frail and physically couldn't and shouldn't open this door. And we're like... Or like a disabled person, or a pregnant person, or a pregnant person, person where you're like, no, 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 let me get that for you. No, but you really. make it a statement to be like, wait, let me get that as you run ahead. You don't just be like, oh, chivalry, I must open the door for the lesser gender. Like, yeah. you know, anyway, do you know, do you know, do you know what I what I did? What did you do? I slowed down. <laughs> so she had to wait all. I was the door. like, you know what? Do this. You can do it. That's <laughs> that good. Tell no, him. Tell yeah. him. Why? Why? Because it's funny. Because she can do it her fucking self. <laughs> Wait, but you slowed down. No, no, no. To I open her door down. or for her to like hold it open for an awkward amount of time? I slowed down because I didn't want to have to yeah. deal with it. Of course. Yeah. It's I, like, you yeah, know what? you just avoided another human And she didn't say thank you either. Well, that's fine. And that's not fine. <laughs> You were going through the door. Not anyway. fine. You do something. Not nice. fine. You do something nice for someone. You, you purposely you. slowed down. Yeah, I slowed down. That's after the fact, though. She didn't. I don't know. I dilly dally. I looked at the board. I guess you're right. Time. You say thank you. One one. Oh, you're talking about in the building. Mm-hmm. Mm, I see. Do you understand the? No, I understand, but thing? I've been. He could have been clearer. I, you know, okay. I'm, I'm imagining just like you're in. Start the top. Now to put it true. You know my I, lobby? I know now. Okay. We're seeing it all. <laughs> so that's like a good amount of distance between those doors. Mm-hmm. I don't think it... You're really going to tell my hand right now, Sheba. Um, I don't think you have to yeah, be the opener for both doors. That's such a distance. No. Mm-hmm. One time, know. One time when I was coming home... This uh, this guy was a little bit far behind me, so I opened his door. So he ran to walk through it, and he then ran to open the door for me. That's so nice. That's but weird. I thought that was so. He was such, I, I thought that was so it. gentlemanly. I'm like gentlemanly. Wow. That's yes. weird to me. Why? That's so nice. He went out of his way, and he's like, you, But in the back of my mind, I'm like, What? Are you trying to be competitive? Like, I guess you know what it is. I think I know this is like a me thing. But if someone does something nice for me out of nowhere, I have to be in a good mood to receive it. If I'm just like walking in a stranger, I'd be like, why the fuck are you opening a door? Like, ew. Like, I, you gotta catch me in the right moment for me to be appreciative of it. Basically. I will say, that's a different experience for a male versus a female. Definitely. Opening doors. Oh, sure. But also I think I'm just, a, a, like my default is bitch mode. Same. So like, if you're Same. doing Cause something for me, I'm not right. gonna be, okay. yeah. Um. Yeah. So if someone is like holding a door or like opens up to me, I'm not like, oh my god, thank you, that was so nice. It's like, okay, I can open a door. It's not, but again, it's like you gotta catch me in the right moment. I'm sorry. You can't accept, I'm, I'm sorry you can't accept kindness. I'm sorry. That's not what it can't be better. better. <laughs> I would love. I would love. I, I, when someone opens the door for me, I feel special. That's good. Makes me feel nice. That's, it, that it, must it's, be nice. It's like, you no, no, have no, to do not, that. I know. You could have just went about know. your day doing whatever dumb thing it is that you were going to do. Anyway. Totally. I think also with the city, especially with strangers, like, I don't want to now have to, like, have an interaction with that person and be like, thank you. But not even for, like, you the danger aspect. You say thank you, you keep going. I know, but now I have to, like. Why are you doing one of these? You go, oh, I, I'm the biggest head nod 
No, especially with the mask, it's so easy. You just give them a little. Yeah, you was, don't even I, have to like smile. Speaking, speaking of that, not that I actually had this train of thought, is that um, like you can't if you did the other way. If you went up instead of down, I go up. It would be like you want to fight. Let's talk about it. You know, like when, I'm doing let's a let's talk about bow? it. No, you kind of you do what you can just. Yes, because no, that's I more... think if I'm saying thank you, I do with this thing. You look up? Yeah, Dude, I go up then first. you don't realize how aggressive... <laughs> that explains so... Wait, no, because I feel like I'm... It's usually like okay, a... Okay, okay. Then, okay. Okay, it's usually with a hand to like wave to be like... Like if I'm crossing the street and a car stops for me, it's like, a, thanks. Yeah, but no hand. Okay, then if I'm doing it without a hand, it's like a... But, you know... <laughs> you, uh, seem, you seem like nervous. Well, no, this is how my <laughs> face goes with it. Imagine my and I'm like... I don't know, I probably look crazy. Either way, what should I do? I feel like going down first, I feel like It's like you're saying, like, what's up? But if I go down first, that feels like I challenge you to a duel. Yes. Down? Yeah, like... No, it's yes. a show... Or, like, bowing? You know what I mean? I'm not saying bow, but they go, the, the point of the bow is that... Maybe like, I now I don't know if you're... You're showing that you're not, like, you, you know, it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, Proceed. I don't think my instinct is to go down first. I'm a hey, yeah, thanks. Like good luck. But some, I feel like people. But but I can see maybe guess, if maybe it is another like uh, man woman thing. Like if I was a man being like, "What's up?" But since I'm like a teeny little girl, it's like, "Thank you." I'm you're, raising my voice you're, to speak. You're, you're you're very tall. Yeah, that doesn't mean I'm like <laughs> how tall threatening. Are you? How tall are you? Five ten. That's not very tall. It's also not very threatening. You can it's knock me over very easily if I'm walking down the street. I have horrible balance because I'm so tall. So you could easily. Well, you and also I'm not wear, coordinated. You also wear the Doc Martens. I also wear the Doc Martens. Nobody can walk normal in those. I feel like I could curb stomp a bitch in those. Though. I'm sure. You I feel like they look stopping. dangerous. Ooh. They're like purple Dad shiny. Pur is it shiny purple? Can it's like that. I'm gonna put a, a, a link to them. Yeah, well, they're know. hot. No, yeah, I, I didn't mean a link. I didn't mean a link. Yeah, but a pick of them. Doc Martens, one of the most uncomfortable. And it, it was actually so funny. So the day I bought them, I was walking back to my apartment because there's a Doc Martens right near me. And as I'm waiting for the light, Tolan walks up to me out of nowhere. He's like, "Hey, I literally saw the shoes. I was like, that person's wearing cool shoes." But then as I got closer, I realized it was you. I was like. Oh shit, I literally just bought them. Also, oh, hi, what the fuck? They were running into each other on this corner. Well, I did I didn't go up to you and say, hey Amanda, I like touched your arm. And I flipped the fuck out. <laughs> it was very Your cool. eyes got Welcome so to light. being a woman in New York City. I think just existing, I'm very jittery. But yeah, <laughs> also unaware of my surroundings. And that's on so having a vagina. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I definitely have a good time, so yeah. Um, my yeah, fingers are so wet from Sheba. I, Do you not feed this dog? What's going on here? No, it's just because you're, you're dirty. She's trying to clean you. I'm dirty? She you likes your socks. Hands. <laughs> I'm sorry. She am, likes am I being how, aggressive? Yeah. How <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That just remind me. Last week, me and Tolan went out to dinner with uh, two of our other friends. And at the end of the meal, Tolan, like our waiter, walked by and <laughs> Tolan was like, Should we get the check? And I was like, Oh, yeah. So then I turned to her and I said it kind of loud. She was walking away and she wasn't coming by that often. So I was like, Can we get the check? And she was like, Yeah. And Tolan was like, That was so sassy. Why? And I was like, Because I asked for the check? No, what she, should I have she, said? She Excuse said me, miss. We are done with our meal. Like, no. no, no you're allowed to ask no, for the check. You went, Check. No, I did Dude, not. Dude, I, I, I was <laughs> looking at you, and it's the reason why I said it. it a, you okay, maybe said I did. You were being sassy for no reason. But even if you do it's that. It's okay. Embrace your sass. No, no, no. You but it wasn't, but it wasn't sassy the way I said it, because she I'm was like, I'm fine. I really didn't think I just said check. I think I said What did I say to you? I said someone has their sass pants on. Yeah. But then I got even more sassy, because I was like, I'm not being sassy. No, but that's he knows how to brown me up this time. I gotta push these buttons. <laughs> I need the demon shoes. Yeah, you do. So do I, honestly. Well, well I'm glad we, uh, that somehow it came back. Yeah. And just like, so the whole controversy is the fact that there is um, there's supposedly human blood in like the what is it in the souls of the sneakers or like, yeah. 
so my question is, is like I, I didn't do any research, but is there is is there like actually blood in it? Or I he being can't imagine. I I have to assume he's trolling those Christians because well, think he's suing him for saying that. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! They could also just come out with a statement and be like, obviously, there's no blood in our sheets. No, but what if there is? Maybe. What if there is? There's probably children's blood on all of our sneakers because <laughs> Nike. Makes their shit. Definitely their tears. Definitely, Definitely their tears. tears. Definitely their sweat. Like, Why do you think it's so shiny? Only because of path, path over. It smooths the leather. It yeah. <laughs> Patent leather is uh, code I think, for I think children. Yeah. Yeah. Can I spell it? Um, wait, what was I just going to say, though, about... Oh, remember the controversy when we were, like, younger with Vans? That the bottom of Vans. Actually, I wonder if mine have it still. Oh yeah, this part it looks. Oh my God, Sheba. Wow, it looks like the Star of David. So like, if you're wearing Vans, you're like walking on Jews. It's a pentagram. But that's not a thing. It's literally just a shape, and it's like cross hatching in the soul. I, I listen. Listen. I tried to listen to you. People, you said, I know the fart is so the, bad. That, like dog farts sometimes are, so are bad. ridiculous. Yeah. Here she is again. You're stinky. She is a little stinky. Get out of here. You're little, not getting love for that. Can you can you can you just summarize what you said before? Basically, there was a thing when we were younger where it was like, don't wear vans because it's the star of David on the sole of your shoe when you're stuck on shoes. Is that legit? Obviously not. I mean, it's can it look, no no no. It is. It looks like the star of David, but they're not putting that there for Jewish reasons. It's literally just. If you cross lines, you're going to get Sometimes we like to play it. victim, I, I realized. Of course. <laughs> so does every fucking relationship. But that's also because, like, you know. We are the victim. Remember World War II? <laughs> <laughs> Who could forget? You know about that. Oh, God. I'm obsessed with Holocaust deniers. You're obsessed with them? I'm obsessed with them. In what way? Just in their... Their um, gall? Their chutzpah? I just, I wish, I don't know, because also, like, growing up Jewish, the Holocaust is shoved down your throat. Like, you cannot... Yeah, it's important. It's important. No, no, no. It's so important. important. That's why we learned about it. But starting from such a young age, you're told all these stories, you read all these books, you put all these... Wait, hold on. Stories. We got Vance confirmation. Oh. Uh, no so, blood. Oh. Oh. No. Yeah, we obviously got devil's no blood. shoes. Right. So, but they're suing him. Okay. That's crazy that Nike sued him. He says, quote... I was just kidding. You guys know I was kidding, right? Yeah, obviously he was kidding. <laughs> obviously. I fucking love Lil Nas X. Like, this you guys are taking good. it a little seriously. He's just trolling all these haters who are like, Oh my god, he's sucking Satan's dick. Wait, do you guys <laughs> like... Bitch, you wish you could suck Satan's dick. <laughs> do you guys like know how he came to fame? Uh, Old Town Road. Are you familiar with the bop? Oh, no. Summer. What? You don't know Old Town Road? Okay, you know. know Old Town Road. There I were know. like 5 million remixes after it. I actively turn it off. Oh, yeah, that's so annoying. Well, yeah, now it is, but it was the song of the summer. So how did he come to fame? I don't know how he came to fame, but Old Town Road Old Town Road was his first mainstream hit. Yeah, with Billy Ray Cyrus. And that made his career take off. Yeah. Black Cowboy. No, that, that's a, that's the, all the time you can you can't sing any more than that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What did that song come up? I actually know because I remember I was at Boston Calling and Lil Nas X wasn't performing, but someone was, and then Lil Nas X came out and they performed Old Town Road, and I was like, oh my god, they played Old Town Road, they freaked out. So that was 2019. 2019. That was end of May 2019, so it was probably in April or May 2019. April 5. Okay, well. That's great. There it is. Um, but we got off track. We did get what off track. Did, what were we saying before that? Oh, I was saying how I'm obsessed with Holocaust tonight. Oh, yeah. It, please, um, um, please. I just think it's so, what? like, fun that they get to live in that reality. Mm. You know, because it's so traumatizing for us to have to hear about all these harrowing stories and go to these places and live it. Like, have you ever been to a um, concentration camp? No, not a place I want to go. Not a place I recommend going. You went? 
I went, went to one of those things. Went to one of them. Um, was the only Jew with my group. And I was like, I did people give you some bullshit sympathy? No, 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 it was very fine. Um, but I was kind of like, I kind of want to walk through this place by myself, not that you guys, but aside from that, like, just say, like, everything that we're taught and told and you know, do revolving around the Holocaust, you know, to like repopulate, to build back the six million lost, like, it's so ingrained in our Jewish identity. And then there's people who are like, the Holocaust didn't exist. I'm like, who did you go with? Ooh, bitch, I wish. Huh? Who did you go with? To a concentration camp? It was when I was in uh, Munich for a weekend when I was studying abroad, and Dachau is like a train ride from there. And how old were you? Ironic. I was studying abroad, so I was like 20. That's ironic. What? It's a train to. Uh... Like that? Yeah. <laughs> also, being the. the, the uh, like walking through the gas chamber was like scared. Yeah, I like really. Yes. I like fully repressed I, that I memory. <laughs> yeah, this is it not def- the place no, it's like fully. I always forget I went because I fully like got back and I was like, mm, I never want to think about this day ever again. Um, that's why I just love the idea that people are like that didn't happen. I'm like, ooh, bitch, I wish I could just What's think that? like that's that never happened. And we yeah. never have to deal ooh, with it. Baby, that ooh, I don't have this trauma. I have a bigger family. Yes, Jews are everywhere. I love this reality where the Holocaust didn't happen. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. my goodness. Well, so what's their argument? First, oh, I don't say, know. I've never show us the data. Show us where. Show us the numbers. Yeah, I don't know where this like ideation came to be. Where they were just like, no, it didn't happen. Well, it but I also guess same. like if you are from like the South or Midwest, like a lot of Jews didn't immigrate there. So if you're not growing up around Jews and you don't see any Jews and you're not learning about Jewish history or culture, many didn't meet the Jew until she moved to Philly. There you go. So I feel like if you're not immediately exposed to that now culture, she lives or, with one. you see how fast, <laughs> how fast that was? We got them, folks. We got them. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I feel like that's also kind of the same thing with like uh, the Japanese internment camps in America. Like so many Americans just don't know that we were also doing the same fucking shit to the Japanese, and they're like, all you have to do is take one media class, and you're already like. No, yeah, no, so no. it's just like like so many people could be like, well, we never like fall under fascism or all that stuff. After, it's like we haven't. Like, yeah, after like uh, Pearl Harbor, man, the, the the propaganda is insanity. Yeah, but that's it's a little too uh, serious. Uh, serious or rather, red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to. I was just saying, I'm a, I I truly know nothing about the. Let's talk about let's let's uh, let's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a break. Oh, and, a break. מפצעים מטורפים לחג הפסח, פרגיות טוב, 3.99 לפאונד, חבילת פיתות, 99 סנט, חלל לשבת, 99 סנט, מהרו, המפצעים לזמן מוגבל, כושר סנטרל. So, when you came, when you came uh, to the house today, um, you actually had brought with you, and um, you brought cheesecake, and you brought Terry Misu, something yes. that we have. That's, it's a long-standing conversation on the show. Just to remind everyone about what's the best dessert out there, you know. And we pulled our audience. We pulled ourselves. It's mm-hmm. cheesecake, obviously. It's cheesecake. Um, I do want to flag though. I didn't bring like good cheesecake into no, your well, like, I the, ran set, into like set the parameters. Tell okay. everyone your process. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so coming to Tolan's is a bitch. Not really, but like. No, nah, it's fine. It's, it, it is fine, but the subway that I take only runs, like, every 15 minutes, so I try and line it up when I leave my house that I, like, won't have to wait on the platform for that long. Today I miscalculated, and before I went down uh, to the platform, like, before I even swiped in, it showed you the time, and I saw that my train wasn't coming for 12 minutes, and I was like, okay, there's a grocery store right on this corner. I'm going to get us some goodies. So I go over... And I was hoping to get like a pastry type thing, like a lemon tart, if you will, because you wanted that the other night at dinner and they didn't have that. You know, you know how gotten that was. It was gotten. It was absolutely was totally gotten. gotten. Sometimes when the British speak, I don't understand what the fuck they're talking about. It's true. It's true. Sometimes, like when I watch a British Bake Off, sometimes 
like one of the one of the contestants will just be like, oh well, and say, oh, eh. <laughs> and I'm and like, but with so I was much really like expecting you to say real words. That was yeah, great. but that's what that it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah, that's poof. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was what and. <laughs> You know, I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, we have the same language. We Can you though. speak we it normally? Don't. Waffles in it. Yeah, waffles in it. <laughs> I love in it. In it. I want to start saying I, in yeah, it. Yeah, I wish, but it's. I also so love, douchey. I have to say, I wish we could say cunt the way they do. I would say cunt. It uh, just your cheeky good. cunt. It's cool. like so that. fun. Like, cunt. Cool. It's, it's so not harsh and just like another way to call, like, just say, like, bitch and, like, be playful with words. Like, if I say cunt, it's so you cunt. Well, so you don't have like, that. You don't have that British. Oh, you twang, cheeky cunt, you know? or like however they say it. This is horrible. But, um, but anyway, I had twelve minutes before my train came, so I went over to good old Morton Williams, which will rake you over the coals for uh, anything you buy there. Yeah, and Gracidis too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't oh, go to Morton Williams on a budget. Yeah, don't. Eat. Or at all. If you can help yourself. Well, sometimes you don't have a choice. Well, today I went because I was pressed for time and they were right there and I knew I wanted to pick up a goodie for us. So on the top floor is like the bakery section. They had like actual full cakes and pies and things. And honestly, I was very tempted to get us a pie, but they were expensive. And I was like, this isn't a real bakery. It's going to be too expensive for not the quality that it should be. And then I looked down the aisle a bit more and I found these little like containers that are obviously just like on the shelf all day in the refrigerated section and it was like mm-hmm. a slice of tiramisu and then another one that had two slices of cheesecake they were like four bucks each grabbed them got down to the platform had two minutes left which is the ideal waiting time on a subway platform because it gave me enough time to walk to where i wanted to be on the platform enough time I'm to look all at your about, phone for a second yeah, yeah i'm all about going to where you need to be when you exit the train at your destination when you get to the station you need to you're starting your trip at you want to be on the part of the platform that's going to get you out to your exit at the stop waste no time bitch. you brought up one of these things that like you know <laughs> mandy it's is because this idea. in the beginning in the beginning of a relationship and you know maybe i, I was <laughs> stubborn about this but i'm like no, I don't want to walk any further, you know? Okay, like, but you, you want to do walk. it then at the end? You do it now. I you don't get think, to where you need to I go don't when think you it need- ma- I don't think it matters. Honestly, it doesn't matter because, because either do- way... No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. It's absolutely a preference thing because you're right. Either way, you're walking yes. that amount. It's just at what point of the trip do you want to walk that amount? Don't do you, want to, do you want to invest your time now? While you're waiting for the train no, no, to no, come I or know. later. I'm with you. I'm the same way where my brain is like, I'm going to go to where I need to be now. But I don't think it, I think it's truly just a preference. I don't think it's like this way is smarter and faster. And I want to be where I want to be later. Yeah. Well, yeah. you're going to get there. You could anyway. also no, no, do no. the walk. On if, the I'm no, no, no. if I'm in a rush, if I'm in a rush, I'll always beat you. Huh. Oh, I'd yeah, love but, to test but that. I'm not Were competitive you about it. Do a trip? <laughs> And see if no, you don't go, no, no, what no, happens. No. Obviously, I think she'll get there faster because she's closer, right? Your argu- My argument oh. is that it doesn't matter. It does. No, it, it ma- seems to matter. To, it seems to matter to you, but I'm not in. I, I don't. It does, I don't. If need, you're in a rush, to do that. maybe it matters. But yeah, just but, from day to day, it doesn't okay, matter. Okay, okay, okay. Right? Here's my rationale. Here's my rationale. Sorry, let me let me, let me explain. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna make you understand. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. me, for personally, right? For her personally. <laughs> Sometimes to get to that door that you're to that part of the train that you're talking about is so it's it's a sh- you're you're schlepping from one side of the train. Track to I'm the not other. talking. I'm or talking schlep on later. the platform before you. Even, I'm saying if you have time to kill on the platform schlep before a train now, comes, while you're waiting anyway, exactly. Or schlep later when your friends are waiting for you. Well, they can wait. Yeah. If you're taking the MTA, there's no regard for time. You're some other god is controlling what you're taking. It's the yeah, fastest way to get from point A to point B. In this city, definitely. Unless you have a scooty. Mandy got a scooty. I got a scooty. She got an electric scooty. Okay. I'm obsessed. 
Okay. Well, when you live on Roosevelt Island, it makes a lot of sense. You I, just zip I, yeah, from one I place to that. the other. I feel that for your island life. Like in that other island, the Also, I get fire. it because once you get to um, the train on this island, you still have a bit of a ways. So it's nice that you don't have to wait for the bus. I'll give you that because that's a pain point for me on this journey when I get off the train and then I have to wait for the bus. It's so long. It's so long. Yeah. So Sometimes the, the train is very long. I was saying on the Fire Island, everyone gets bikes for like... Yeah. Well, because there's no reason. roads. You yeah. Can't well, here there's, on one, <laughs> here there's only one road. I am aware. It's basically the same, same it, yeah, thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 There's, there's also like, you know, the, the, like the, the, the outer sides. It's either you're walking on the Queen side mm, or you're walking on mm, the New York side. Mm. The Queen side ain't, ain't a beauty to look at. I let me tell imagine. you. It's just like Costco. Costco. <laughs> Glorious as she mm. stands. Uh, mm-hmm. And what else is and? there? Literally everything goes to Costco. It only goes to like the I know, but Costco like it stands out. out. The rest of it is beautiful. Well, yes, there's a story. Justice of for Queens, Tolan. Sorry, Queens. But no, but I feel like regardless, you'd get the better view of the city. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's the city. Exactly. It's yeah. it, it, it's so much more going on. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's loud. You can kind of like. Well, yeah, hear the, the FDR cars. is a hop, skip, and a jump I from know. here. Oh my god, so much traffic over there in the FDR. I know. I run alongside <laughs> it, and I'm like, oh, this is so peaceful. I'm running on a path outdoors next to the river. Oh yeah, and I'm next to a highway that's always standstill traffic, and I hate that men are leaving work and watching me run. Hmm. But then I look the other way and I'm like, it, water, you, wait, 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 wait a second. I might have misunderstood you, but do you run in traffic? Absolutely. I'm in the highway. No, there's a <laughs> path on uh, that goes up the East River. So uh-huh. it's on the other side of the FDR. You do running outside? Yeah, when it's nice out. Really? I like think, I. oh no, huh? it's, it's shocking. Why it, did he say it like you do running outside? Because I... No, Just no. Recently I'm, learned I'm, to run. I'm more. I'm more. I prefer a treadmill. I'm talking about like, why would you run ever? Where are you running uh, from? What are you I'm, running from? Okay, I want to go on the record. I've never been a fan of running. I've never understood it. I never got why people ran. You, what in don't the you pandemic, understand about it? It's just it's the most simplest thing you could do. I know, but it always hurt me. I could never like do it. I was always out of breath. Yeah, My no, knees it hurt. hurts. Now, over this last summer during the pandemic, I got into running. And when I say got into running, like what's your okay? You have a question. I'm not good, I have a and I don't. For you. In my head, I like think I'm this like, oh yes, yeah, she's running, she's running. Then if I like pass a building with a reflection, I'm like, oof, she trudging. Along. Amanda, can I ask a question? <laughs> yes. Is it similar to your spin mentality via your? Oh, you know, it's on um, stage. Yeah, I was gonna ask you. It is. Uh, motherfucking it's it is. Kids. I had basically. The Do you same- have the same mentality? Uh, no. Is it I rape? It- no, no, no. Because I would use that as a way to push myself to go faster for when spin. I'm running. Right for spin. So on a bike, when I'm running, there's no option to go faster. I'm like I can't. I physically couldn't move faster if I was being chased by a rapist. But like, so. what's your mentality? Zombie apocalypse? No, or no. I think I'm just on like, a scale from think- like like nursing home attendants to like zombie apocalypse what people that could like eat your neck. Like, no, I, it's not the same mentality though. Where I have to run away from something. It's more like, <laughs> yeah. You mean, you mean is she coming from a place of compassion or fear? Are, exactly. Yeah. No, are you coming from a place of like <laughs> yeah. fitness or life or death? <laughs> Uh, fitness. Uh, it's, it was only in the spin class because I'd like be in the class and feel competitive and want to push myself farther. In and, case and was, any of you who are listening are wondering what we're referencing, you should probably look up Amanda's stand up. It's funny she's looking at the camera. I know. But she's I, not a girl. Also, I don't they think can't I like see it. Me, but I'm I don't looking think it's dead into your eyeballs. anywhere. But basically, I have this bit where I talk about how I'd be in a spin class. Um, and the- don't offer your services for free. Look it fucking up, bitches. <laughs> it's not online. I don't think they could find it. You <laughs> should serve that shit on OnlyFans or whatever. Yeah. Imagine I just stand dropped it. People come only expecting fans, one thing. Just put like up. a picture of your fluorescent ass nails and your comedic bits from like open but mics. I want to explain like, why I break do. Break in the fucking bucks. Come on. All right. 
But I want to explain why I don't need to use the rape mentality when I'm running. Because in a spin class, I think for me, it was that the instructor was so aggressively positive and that didn't work to motivate me. <laughs> so I had to switch to like, no, I'm not like the best and I can't do this. I'm being chased by a rapist and I need to go faster. So with running, there's no instructor being like, you got this. Yeah, no one's going to stop you. Like you can do anything. So there's nothing I need to combat with like, no, that doesn't hype me up. What hypes me up? So I'm just like listening to music and I'm like, what, I'm running. What are you listening to? What's keeping you going? Honestly, a lot of disco. Disco <gasps> is like Disco's, my running I think Disco's playlist. making it. It's I think, really good to run to, I must say. What era disco? Uh, 70s and 80s. <gasps> I am obsessed with you. <laughs> Thanks. Just um, gonna put that I out there. I think this goes yeah. making a slow, slow return. I think so too. It's Only so via hot. me and Amanda, the Amandas of our era. We're oh. bringing disco back, baby. <laughs> um, I actually must give credit though. I think I got a disco resurgence from watching RuPaul's Drag Race. <gasps> a lot of the times, the lip sync <gasps> battles are ooh, all kinds of malfunctions. Our lights just went off. This episode. Um, this but yeah, but train I, wreck of an episode. Yeah, but I was brought back to... Uh, I'm going I'm to press the button. It's okay. What button? Oh, for the lights. Yeah. Um, oh. And that's just, uh, that's just part of it. Yeah. You know, that's just part of the sh- That's just part of doing a show. Things happen. Things Cats happen all the time. Another happen. thing that happened that we want to address... Um, actually, I guess we shouldn't segue into it. It should be a separate thing that we play at the start. You'll segue. Let's go. Let's fucking seg. Wow. No, I'm saying we shouldn't segue because it should be a separate clip we play. Right? Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. So then... Go, well, you, you were saying something and then we had a whole malfunction. Oh, I was just going to say that Drag Race brought me back into disco and then I started running to disco. Mm. And running to disco is phenomenal. You know what it was for me? It was just like... I needed a funky vibe one day, and then yeah. I'm just like... Disco's so fun. Yeah, disco's like, it's like... Okay, but like Amanda, ask like, ask Tolan, like, what is your funky vibe? I Versus think I know like, what his funky vibe is, <laughs> you're telling her what, I think I know what his funky sing a vibe ditty. is. Are you sing telling her what, what questions to ask me? <laughs> funky vibe. Do you not approve of his disco? I'm so- more than approve of that. <laughs> but like, let's hear a little... Hey, Tolan. What, what do you mean? What's your disco vibe? Are you setting me up? Are you throwing me a, yeah, this feels throwing like a, me a softball? Three and one. Let's go. <laughs> What's your disco vibe? Up five, I don't six, know. seven, eight. I don't know either. My disco vibe? I like songs that, uh, you know, it just, I like, I like to feel funky and... <laughs> He likes for I them like to, to say funky. the word funky a lot. No, I like I don't I don't want too. I don't want any mention of the word funky. I want the song <laughs> to be funky. I like I want the I want funky beats. I want to see action, not word. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I agree. That's it. That's it. That's fair. I, I don't what have, is I'm not, your it's not ideal music special. to work out to? What do you do, listen to? <laughs> I don't listen to music anymore. To, to, when you work, to out, work out, are yeah. you listening to anything? I listen to like a podcast. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were going to say you're just mm-hmm. raw dog in <laughs> your thoughts while you're working out. Recently, I think Tolan has opened his uh, spectrum to EDM. No? no, that only okay. The, no, not ED. Well, I, I've I've been to uh, like festivals, so I yeah, can't say I don't like it. I, uh, there's rare. It gets any you music hype. I I'll give you like. that. Uh, what? What? I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I actually so then listen. listen. <laughs> um, what? I don't know. What are we saying? EDM hypes you up. EDM. There's no shame in listening no, to EDM. No, listen, the, the, you're just saying that because recently, when I went to dinner with you, it's like they were playing that oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, deep yeah, yeah. house music. It was literally club vibes and, I was and like, like an outdoor cafe. It was I'm like, very the fun. The song has not ended in like the whole time we've been sitting. It was, yeah. But from this, from when you got your matcha drink uh, to when you I got, got the matcha, the matcha drink. drink. Don't put those yeah. on me. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I was pretty. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, yeah. I was debating between it, and then I saw Yeah, I no, uh, live I a little more dangerously than you. That's mm-hmm. okay. It's fine. All right? You know, I went for it. I you, just made educated it safe. choices. No, you, I made an no, educated you just choice. played it safe. That's, you know. I did play it safe. Just like I knew I would like a drink, so I got it. And he was like, hey, I like all the ingredients in this drink. And I was like, oh, I was looking at that one, too. But it I don't know. It was like uh, matcha. We could have never 
predicted that Amanda would play it safe with a drink. No, I think I'm pretty, uh, I play it pretty safe with drinks. I know that's the joke. Oh. Why? I feel like uh, I know about the Brooklyn Bridge crossing over. Okay, well, that's a literal we fear know of about heights. The tram. Okay. That's a literal fear of heights. I I'm usually, not calling you out. I love you and I'm obsessed okay, with you. But, but like, do people think I play it safe? Never. I fucking peg people. We Since when am I playing things safe? Never. What? We could never. We could never what? Like, assume. Oh, oh. But I'm just wondering is that the vibe I give off that I like play it safe and like make reliable choices? I mean, maybe I do. Yeah, I you're like I do. probably the most reliable person in this apartment. Oh, okay. Wow, that was a shot. Was a straight <laughs> shot. Straight shot at me. I thought you were going to say. I mean, am I wrong? And yourself? Included. Yeah, no, I feel like Included? you're more reliable Included. than me. Included. No, baby, don't I can't say that. You got to love yourself. I Amanda's can't. like far more responsible than we are. I don't know. You're giving her I, I too much credit. You're giving her too much credit. She wears she wears she wears purple platform shoes. How First of all, responsible they're red, can she be? And that's very <gasps> responsible. <laughs> it's say, very responsible. Out of all the things I do, that's responsible. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not responsible. I'm not reliable. Are you kidding me? Both of which I feel. <laughs> both of which I feel you're on a higher tier. Than myself. So. I mean, she's being very kind, but I don't agree. I don't agree. You literally <laughs> just, yeah, I can't compare. You're beautiful and I'm so, I'm obsessed with you. Like, You're beautiful what do you, and what she's can obs- we do about it? I mean, what can we do about it? Me being beautiful and me being reliable. What can we do about it? Honestly, that? nothing. We can't do anything. It's true. I, I appreciate your passion. Here we are. Here we go. You know? <laughs> you have to share this all the time because I'm loving this. Passionately oh, on a Tuesday a night. Yeah, a it's Tuesday and it's we're Monday passionate. night. It's Monday night. Who am I and what day is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fully a Monday. It is. This is the not the appropriate behavior for a Monday night. Well, these are questions I actually ask people when they like hit their heads. <laughs> I'm like, "Hey, what day is it?" Oh, and yeah. they tell me, and I'm like, "That's a good guess." I don't think it's a fair question because sometimes <laughs> and then I don't I'm even like, know. Yeah, that, that doesn't mean you had. A- and I'm like, I have like a like a range. Right. If they say like Obama, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. It's like then, then you or report they, that person to, to, the, to the CIA immediately. <laughs> you have or a time traveler Trump, in the midst. Or if they say Trump, I'm like, have you been around for the last like three months? And then if they say Biden, I'm like, you're way more with it than me. Well, yeah, that seems uh, that seems. But these are questions like I cannot deduction. answer on a daily basis. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if that's where the litmus own. test should be for people who have suffered a head injury because like. You know, you're walking down the street. You catch me off guard. You're like, what day is it? I'm like, ah, um, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> tell you something. That's this the is not reliable. Test. You can't That's ask her. That's the litmus test for every person who's ever hit their head. That's crazy. 90 to 20. Wait, that's, that's, that's protocol? also crazy. Uh, it's fucked up. My that job is. is fucked up. I don't that know what to do about beautiful. it. I don't know what well, to do about she's it. She's a singer. What, I know, like, but I wasn't singer. expecting that. Get the fuck out of here, out of my apartment. Ooh. Also, and she, Mandy like, is drunk, I feel like we should say. <laughs> just so people don't think that. <laughs> is anyone confused about that? No, I'm sure people assumed at this point. Listen, you know, you can do whatever you want, especially here. What? <laughs> I should <laughs> grab you and you didn't react. <laughs> I, I feel like I, I should zoom in on their hand contact. Did you want? Did you, what kind of reaction were you expecting? Just, just like more a, sexual? No, but just like for you to be uncomfortable. I did such a. It t- it it takes a lot to make me feel uncomfortable. Clearly, that would have freaked me the fuck out. Guys, well, I know. More sexual, please. What? What are you talking about? No. Well, okay. This I think that's the enough. Sexual as I get <laughs> I'll There's grab his wrist. Contact than anticipated. Put your hands on each other's hands. Well, no. no. Well, here, too much. He, he, too much. I'm well, so that's bored. that's uh. Let's let's let's, let's call let's it. it there. Let's call it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Have Far a wonderful rest of your week. Subscribe. Do all the things. Follow. And, um, like. That's click, uh the like, Silly Goose Academy on share. Instagram. Click, like, share, share, click, share, click, and share. Boom, share snap, clap, click. boom, snap, clap. <laughs> One day, I promise you, I will figure out how to end these things with all this shit. I, don't I promise. Think you will. Well, I don't see you giving it a try. I don't give a shit. 
Well, all right. <laughs> That's not true. I would like to have a nice, easy button that we could go Which is, to. It's got to be robotic. Fine. We'll figure know? it out one day. Until then, adios. Adios. Hey. Woo. You're silly. Ah.